the COUNTIF function. The COUNTIF function counts the number of items in a range that meet a specific criteria. Syntax equals count if left parenthesis range comma criteria right parenthesis. The range is the continuous range you will use to evaluate your criteria. The criteria determines what cells to count. When we are using this function, the criteria has a specific syntax. We are going to look at some examples. You follow through with your slide or follow along with your slide. I am going to use a spreadsheet. The first example we will type in cell C11. In this example, we are going to use a number as a criteria. We're going to type in equals count if left parenthesis, the range that we will use, C1 to C10, comma, we are going to look in C1 to C10, and if any cell has the value 5 in it, we will count that occurrence. Notice when you're using a number as a criteria, you just type in the number. In this case, we have two cells that have the number of 5 in that range, so our cell displays a 2. The next example is in cell E11. We are going to use an example of text, which is non-numeric information. Equals count if the range we will use, E1 to E10, comma, and we're going to use the words or the letters USA. Notice because it's a non-numeric criteria, we have to put quotes around it. So it's going to look for the letters USA, USA only, and they have to be in that order. In this case, the number of cells that meet the criteria are five. The criteria is not case sensitive. So lowercase USA and uppercase USA will both be counted. The next example in cell G11, we will use a cell reference. Notice we're going to look for the word USA, but this time we're going to use a cell reference, which is in cell A2. Equals count if the range is G1 to G10, comma, the criteria is the cell reference A2, that contains the criteria, right parenthesis. Notice when we're using a cell reference, all we need to do is type in the cell reference. In this case, it will look for every cell that has the word USA, USA only, in that order. Now we're going to use an example of a Boolean expression. A Boolean expression uses relational operators, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, etc. So we're going to type in equals count if, we're going to use the range I1 to I10, comma, our criteria is greater than or equal to 5. So any cell that is greater than or equal to 5, it will count that occurrence. Notice when you're using a hard-coded Boolean expression, you have to put quotes around the whole expression. And in this case, we have eight cells that are greater than or equal to five, so your cell displays the number eight. This time, we're going to use a Boolean expression, but we're going to use a cell reference instead. Equals count if, left parenthesis, this time our range is I1 to I10, excuse me, K1 to K10, comma, we're going to surround the Boolean expression again by quotes, but we're going to leave the hard-coded value off. Instead, we're going to use a cell reference. Because we're using a cell reference with the Boolean expression, we have to put an ampersand before the cell reference. The cell reference happens to be in cell A5 because we're looking for every cell that is greater than or equal to 5.
Again, we get the number 8, but this time we've used a cell reference. And finally, we are going to look at the criteria of a wild card. I'm going to show you this instead of explain it, or I'm going to explain it as I go instead of talking about it first. We're using the count if. Here's our range, comma. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm looking in every cell that contains the letters USA, USA only, in that order. But I'm also going to count the cells that have that just start with USA. And that's what the wild card does. So here you notice we have the number 6 because we have all the cells with USA, but we also have USAF because I'm looking for all the cells that begin with USA.